hello everybody how are you guys doing today welcome back welcome back to another stream we're gonna be playing some patron today if it um wants to show up in the stream <laughs> looks like it doesn't let me uh let me quickly change that for some reason it's not picking it up as a game um we'll do uh we'll do that one then there we go <clears throat> that will work Good to see you all here. Welcome. A um, little bit of a later stream. And I was a little bit late as well with uh, starting the stream. Uh, I've been busy making a making a record. Well, yesterday I did a recording of the game itself. And today I recorded my, uh, my voice over it. And edited it. And uploading it and everything. And I was a little bit lower on volume than I wanted it to be. So I'm going to have to redo some of it uh again well adjust the audio levels a little bit i guess uh, or i'll just leave it be and i'll write down in the comments like something like increase your volume or something like that i don't know <laughs> i'm lazy like that but yeah good to see you all here welcome welcome uh, i see that the uh, ara is in the chat ara has uh, requested this game a couple of times saying uh, or recommending it a couple of times i should say uh, Foodie Food is here. Hello, Mr. Fox. Um, Terry. Hello, Gresham. Yeah, I want to take a look at that game as well. I read up on it a little bit just before the stream. Um, so, it is the original Stanley Parable game, but there is also there's also extra things added to it, as far as I understand. So it will be the original game. Uh, but with more content to it. So uh, yeah, I, I want to do that one. I don't think I've done that one in the on the channel. I don't remember if I've played uh, Stanley Parable. Uh, but I do remember seeing the game from a lot of other people on, uh, on the YouTubes. So yeah, I will uh, take a look at that. Um, Sarah, hello. Wave, good to see you. Solar, hello, welcome. Good to see you as well. Good to see uh, three people watching over on Twitch. Ten on YouTube. Blaze, hello, good to see you. Thanks for the likes. And uh, let's start the game, shall we? Let's go into a new game. We have, I have played this game before on a demo. When it was like a demo weekend or something like that, I, uh, I played the game via Steam. Um, so yeah, now we're going to actually play the original game. So thanks for the thanks to the developers for uh, for sending me the key. I contacted them yesterday, um, a little bit later on the day. I get well for me personally in my time zone, <laughs> um, and I got a pretty quick response. So uh, yeah, thanks uh, developers for or whoever sent that email for uh, allowing me to access it today. Ooh, there's a lot of cool options here. I'm going for this one. That's pretty cool. Booster Town. There we go. We can go on a volcano. Uh, no, thank you. Mediterranean. Um, uh, fine, Rich. Looks very unvertile. Uh, twin Islands. Oh, Islands might be fun. The Summit. Reef. Islands of Plenty. Oh, it's also higher 
Difficulties? Challenge, challenge, challenge. Normal, normal, normal. Okay, let's do the Islands of Plenty. Let's do that one. Uh, normal difficulty, soil fertility high, ore richness, medium, and uh, tempered weather. Sounds good to me. It's also King's Day today in the Netherlands. Uh, our uh, king is celebrating his birthday. So uh, even though I am not wearing any orange, I do have an orange scarf here next to me. <laughs> Counts for something, right? Um, but yeah, for anyone watching in the Netherlands, happy King's Day. Pixie, thank you for that as well. <laughs> I didn't even read your message, so that's perfect timing. Uh, but yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for the happy King's Day wishes. I appreciate it. Hope you have fun with this. It's on my wish list. Yeah, I think it will be fun for sure. Oh no, why should why should visitors ring the bell now? Just leave them at the door. Just leave them at the door, Ara. We are playing a game today. <laughs> there are more important things in life. Marcel Berg uh, Berg Sprecken. Hello, good to see you. You've already played it, um, but since I played it, has been, ha has been uh, a lot of updates, so looking forward to seeing your gameplay. Awesome. All right, let's just play on uh, normal, I suppose. Starting month, let's start in March. Start on, uh, on my birthday. My birth month, I guess. Let's start. There we go. Okay. Choose a location for your citizens to build down center. All right. Well, I guess we will just be going. Ooh. Um, oh, boy. What are these controls? How, how did I do that? But W is. What? Oh, wait, that's E. Hold. OK, my my bad. <laughs> I thought I was pressing W, but it was I was pressing E. My bad. Sorry. Sorry, my bad. Okay, let's put the town center. Um, let's put it uh, right, right there. Perfect. Booster town established. Hey, foodie. Mm -mm -mm. Welcome to patron. Your citizens have already built the town, uh, the townhouse, and are ready for your guidance. Focus on getting your citizens a place to live, food to eat, and a fire and firewood to keep them warm. Winter is coming. Oh god, are we playing Game of Thrones now? Winter is coming and it's up to you to prepare for it in time. Hint, build houses, build upgrade, uh, build and upgrade the gatherer's shelter to produce food, build the sawmill for firewood, and build a depot near production buildings to make transport faster and increase maximum stock size. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. It's a little loud, isn't it? <clears throat> I feel like it's a bit loud. Um, environmental music. Let's turn it down to 40. That's a bit much, maybe, the music. Oh yeah, that's a bit better, for sure. Awesome. Alright. Let's continue. Uh, WASD. Yes, I figured that out. I finally have my fingers on the right keys now this time, is all. Altern alternatively, uh, you can press and hold the right mouse button to pan the camera around. Yeah, I will probably be doing that. Well, actually, uh, maybe not. It's a bit fast. Rotate uh, the camera Q and E, right, or mouse wheel. Wait, what? Oh, mouse wheel. Okay, like that. Interact with the objects. Click on them with left mouse button. Right, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Can we slow down time? Your citizens are in desperate need of housing. Citizens who have a place to live in are happier and will pay taxes. The only family, uh, only one family can occupy a single house. And if they have room, uh, if they have room and are at least content in town, they will have children. 
Build five tents or houses to provide some initial housing. Okay. Uh, oh. Nothing is free, while things uh, don't necessarily cost coins, they do require some other resources. Right, yeah, we need to mark trees. We need to go to that one. And trees, okay, cool. So let's go to... Oh, and we have another one. Um, grid. Right. Uh, wait, I couldn't, I couldn't even read that. I don't know why that went away. Demolish, gather trees. Why do we need that grid? Oh, build grid, soil fertility grid, ore grid. Okay. Okay, 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 I see. All right, so we need to gather some um, some trees. So let's gather some trees around here. Make place for... Make room for uh, housing and stuff like that. There we go, perfect. Among the basic needs of your citizens, food is your number one priority. Build a gatherer's shelter. But we had to build housing first, like five tents or houses. Uh, let's see, we do have... We have a small amount of coin. We lumber and free leather. Or 20 lumber, 5 stone. We do have a bit of stone already. Let's start with building houses, regular houses. I'll just place them right next to each other. I will just buy, uh, do six, actually, instead of five. One extra. That'll be fine. And increase game speed by ten. Perfect. I like that. That's always good. Mm -hmm. Hey, Lawson. Good to see you. Welcome. Good to see you, my friend. Happy food noises in the chat. Awesome. All right, all right. Oh, let's speed it up again. Uh, and in the meantime, maybe we should do stone gathering. I don't know where we can get stone from. There? Oh, yeah, right there. Some stone right there. Um, ba, ba, ba. Oh, there's some stone right there. Okay. Okay, there's plenty of stone around, so we don't have to worry about that either. So will they just gather what they need most? Or how does that work? Will like half of them gather trees and the other uh, the other one will gather uh, from the rocks? I wonder how that is exactly gonna gonna work. But it's some weird banning a bit. I want to go down more. Towards ground level. It looks like that's not really possible. Sadly. Mm -hmm. Alright, the houses are built. Um, so next up... Let's pause the game. Next up, uh, we can have town buildings. Docks. Well, well, well. Watchtower shrine. Um, crop fields, production buildings, gather a shelter. There we go. That's what we need. Gathers various wild fruit, mushrooms, and other produce. Well forested areas are um, are more abundant in these resources. So, do we need to place this one in one of those areas, or doesn't it matter? Um. Oh yeah, you can see efficiency. Right, you can see efficiency. Hmm. Seems like we picked a bad place. Efficiency-wise. 
Let's see. 85 is, I think, the highest we can get it. Eighty-two. Yeah, eighty-five. Let's get that. Now do we have to build a road? Maybe we don't need to, but I am gonna. Let's see. Dirt path. Turn that around. And let's make it go all the way. All the way out there. Perfect. Alright, that should be good. That should keep him busy. So then that will be the, um... The gatherer shelter. And we're gonna need a depot nearby as well. Provide some storage space for uh, resources and enables carriers to do their job efficiently. Depots serve as a resource drop-off and pick up points for your workers. Uh, so this one we're going to want to have close-ish to that one, I'm guessing. So that it can pick up there. And then we're going to do something else here, maybe, to make it more efficient, to make it worth it. Maybe the herbalist, for example. Also in a forested area needed, so. Uh, hunting lodge, possibly. Upkeep is a... Wow, it's a lot of lumber and iron upkeep. It's kind of crazy. Hey Nicholas, some buildings uh, synergized when near each other. Good to know. <laughs> well forested areas and wild animal layers boost efficiency. Efficiency depends on two factors. How forested it is. Uh, is the area and how fertile the soil. So that is the forester. Plants and cuts down trees to produce lumber. Right. Alright, so then we can check the fertility grid in this area being quite fertile. Uh, but this is even more fertile, but less trees in the area. Okay, so less fertile areas might actually be better because there are more trees around. Stormy, 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 stormy. All right, let's go with 90%, uh, I think is the sort of the best that we can get there. Let's unpause, speed it up a little bit. And then we'll go with... And we'll go with, uh, with this. There we go, built that over there. Hopefully that one can reach there as well. I don't know how that works. I don't know if it has to be in a circle or what. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Are they making that building or... What's going on? This is too far away or something. The details up close. That looks pretty good. Nothing like, uh, like game changing or anything like that, but looks all right. I wish you could zoom in a bit closer. It looks pretty good. Oh, what are you, sir? Is that a bear? Oh, that's a bear. Oh, there's a... Oh, there's a lair right there. A lair. 
Or the like, wolf den or something. Alright, that's fun. Uh, let's see. Production buildings. Maybe we're gonna need a hunter nearby as well then. Oh yeah, 100% efficiency right here. 101% actually. There we go, built that there as well. They are working on it, but not that quickly just yet. Speed it up a bit more, please. Where's your cheese sandwich, Blaze? I don't know. Don't ask me. I didn't eat it. You have no proof. You can upgrade uh, two to get over 150%. Oh, that's nice. It's good to know. I don't mind. You can give me little hints like that. Uh, let's see. Increase the maximum number of citizens working in the building. Uh, why is it zero out of one? Do I have no people? Increase the number of citizens working in the profession. Ah, there we go. We have to do that one. I fought this one. What is maximum number? This is currently the amount of people you want there to work. I see. Most of the buildings requires workers to operate. In this case, the gatherer's shelter requires gatherers to actually go out and collect various fruits and mushrooms. To do this, you should assign workers to the profession. Right. I will try to do that. Assign workers to the profession. There we go. We can do an expansion for 50 coins. Uh, another worker slot. Or larger baskets uh, for 20 lumber, for 10 lumber, 20 coins, production plus 25. Oh, let's do that. Oh, there you go. And 50% uh, as well with this one. Let's do that immediately. Oh, wow. We can even go higher than that. 75%. Damn, girl. Are you crazy? Crazy stuff. Your tips is uh, not build too much too early, since you need people to carry stuff. Fair, fair. I still think it's a little loud at times. There we go. Did it even apply? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Alright, and then we have uh, another one there. So we have a hunting lodge now. We have gatherer shelter. We have a stock. A warehouse or whatever. And we have a forester's hut. Hopefully... Hopefully uh, people are collecting that. Seems like it. Going back and forth between that one. Perfect. They're not even using the road either. They don't care. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, basic goods lacking. Peasants. Are peasants the, the resource that we're lacking? Are we lacking people? Is that what it says? The peasants feel the town is not producing enough goods. Well, tell me what you want then, people. Come on. Take it easy. Take it easy, alright? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? How many people do we have? Where can we see that? Um, 10 adults, 6 young. What is young? Is that under 18? But above 10 years old? Children, 5. Families, 5. That's a bit confusing. Ten adults, six, six young, five children. Aren't young and children, like, supposed to be sort of the same? Influence points. Uh, happiness. Need to get some more food, maybe, somehow. Oh, what is that? 
Resources required in production are not arriving uh, to this building. Missing requirements, resources, carriers and workers are not bringing enough resources to this production building. Okay. So what do we do about that? Upkeep, lumber and iron, I guess, is what that is. Uh, wait, where did my window go? Oh, there we go. We still have iron, but not that much. So I guess we need to work on getting more. Uh, did we have a sawmill? Um, not yet. We had a forester. But no sawmill just yet. We have no food in the warehouse anymore, apparently. We should be, yeah, we should be getting venison. Let's see, expansion, worker slot. Uh, production during winter, leather production, venison production. Let's do that. Venison production. Twice. Possibly. There we go. Make sure we have enough food. Yeah. Yeah, this should be like, like called teenagers, I guess. That would make more sense. If I switch people to the building, you need them the most. Uh, yeah, if you don't have if you don't have enough. Uh, oh, we can do a research. Quarry fisherman's hut. Oh, let's do a fisherman's hut. That will probably be useful. Mm -hmm. Right there we go. Can we set the axis anywhere? Decree. Oh yeah, we can probably adjust some some taxes and stuff like that in here. Ah yeah. I see. Overview. Don't want to do any of that just yet. No firewood in stock. Uh, yeah, we need a sawmill. Why do buildings on the other side... Where are those removed? When I want to place it here. It doesn't make any sense. Place as close as possible without removing anything. Try to build everything a little closer to that storage there. There we go, we have a lot of space. Fisherman research is done. Royal intervention. The king has noticed that we're struggling with food production. He is not pleased, but it seems he's willing to assist us in getting the colony up and running. Will the gatherer's hut? Yeah, we have. Send the king a letter of appreciation. Uh, corn 150, resource 0. Did we get corn? Is that what it said? Is that what it meant? I guess so. I thought we were doing well with, uh, with food now, but I guess not. I guess not. Um, let's increase production once more on that one and um, can we see how many people are currently working I see we have 10 peasants but like do they have a job already or let's get another worker slot Would like to be able to see that somewhere. Mm -hmm. More 
venison production, leather, production during the winter. Tools. Yeah, let's use that for level three. More production is needed. You should have like four carriers. I don't know how to set that anywhere. I don't think it can set amount of carriers here. But I guess that's ju that just means having four people not assigned to a job, I guess. Job board. We have five workers not assigned. Oh, here you can make carriers. I can only do one though. Reduce the number of citizens working in the profession. I can only do one carrier right now. Is that because I have one of those things? Uh, gatherers, foresters, okay, cool. Okay, where is... Um, where is... The fisherman. There we go. Um, ah, like that. It's weird that the arrows have to point towards the water. I would think the arrows indicate the entrance of the building. Yeah, let's place this one. Oh, perfect. We can place it right there. Perfecto. See, I am a champion. I can do anything in this game. I am sure we will survive and we won't starve to death. We never will. Yes, yeah, more depots is more carriers. I rotate it, uh, begin with one, and then, and then have four workers. Mm -hmm. Because if you decide to cut down trees and gather stuff, it's the workers that do it. Ah, I see. The workers are also the ones that build stuff. Yeah, so you always want to have a couple of, a couple of, um, just, just people doing nothing, just workers, yeah. You don't want to use up all of them because that means you cannot build anything. The king is pleased that the new colony is slowly getting back on his feet. On its feet, um, you've placed the foundations of a flourishing city, and for that you are rewarded. Reward: 150 corn, 150 firewood, and 150 lumber. Yeah, awesome. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, lol, I can see myself starting over and over to find a better place to start building. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Um, happiness is 81. Slow down. An overall level of happiness as a, as a combination of the various social issues troubling your citizens. Low happiness will make your citizens leave town. Don't forget that your city uh, citizens look fondly on you, making their neighborhood prettier. Basic goods, four re in red and four. So we don't have a lot of basic goods. What what are basic goods? What does that imply? What is basic goods? I guess just this, gather, like the mushrooms and venison and all that stuff. We don't have a herbalist yet, maybe that's why. Gathers herbs, uh, use for citizens to stay healthy. More quality herbs can be found in forested areas.
Ba, ba, ba. Uh, yeah, 83, 83 will be good enough for me. You can see what every class wants. Yeah, I don't know where. I mean, yeah, like it, it shows like this, but it doesn't tell me what basic goods are. Basic goods is flat screen TV with Wi-Fi. True. True. Yeah, we definitely do not have that one yet. <laughs> definitely not. You will find it eventually. Yeah, I guess. Um... Happiness. Is there like a help button anywhere? Um, let's see. Options? No. Research. Quarry. Cleared. Oh god. Okay. Uh, fishermen, we have ice fishing, cleared path, quarry. Let's just start working on that, I suppose. Why not? Basic goods will be under resources list. Highlighted on there, and it will tell. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Resources list. This one. Thank you, Jerry Young, for subscribing. You're spending your night at uh, grandparents' house Friday. Nice. Awesome. Oh, we have peasant luxury now. Apparently. Clothing. Maybe the peasant luxury is the is what they meant. Not sure. Additional panels. Residence. Growth. Classes. Peasants. Happiness. It, it would greatly help if it tells you what it is. What is a basic good? Looks like we're slightly going up, so we might be doing it correctly. Let's have someone working there. Uh, let's have someone working now for in the fishery thing then later as well. But we haven't built that one yet either. We, we are creating lumber though. We have 500, so we should have plenty. Speed it up again. No Sawyer in building. Oh, that's okay. That's uh, the worker, I suppose. I see. We're probably going to need more people soon because we only have three workers right now. Fishermen, get them going. I know we would need more for building and stuff, but... I feel like we also need more basic resources, whatever that means. 
So I'm just trying to get that. Oh. The season change? What the heck is this? Build dock ASAP. Uh, where did we get firewood? Did the, did the forester also produce that? Construction buildings. Lumber mill. Sawmill, you mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the sawmill is doing that. Okay. Cool, cool. Increases health and reduces the chance of raging fires. Oh, I like that. I like chances of raging fires being reduced. Hey, Galen. Welcome. Good to see you. Luxury goods for peasants are the basic goods. Okay. So... Clothing. Then. Clothes, pottery, furniture, and flowers. Okay. Those are the things that we're gonna need then. More. More of that. Apparently. Decorative hedges. Uh, tracking prey, ice fishing. I don't know how to get any of that, but okay. Flowers, I guess, should be easy. Right? Flowers, shouldn't that be... Oh, not fire the herbalist. Thought maybe the herbalist would do that as well. Not enough workers. I I am aware. I I want to make the people happy so that they have babies, so that we have more workers. But you know. doesn't really work the way I want it to. Um, what is the min... Okay, basic goods is going up. So we are doing it, whatever we're doing. I don't know how we're doing it, but we're doing it. We are making leather. So how, how do we make clothing then? Fishery, iron, toolsmith, mushroom farm, clothes shop, research shop. Oh, it's all the way down there. Why do you have to do a mine first? I guess for the iron tools needed. Okay. So researching the mine then, then the tool smiths and then the clo clothes uh, shop. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Mm -hmm. We're making a bit more coins still than we're using. Not much more though. Research. We need more coins for a toolsmith. Mm -hmm. The well is still being built. We have an iron mine, coal mine. Yeah, you really don't have a lot of people uh, at the start, do you? Oh, we have 11 adults now. So one of them grew up. That's good. 
carrier? We can have two carriers now. Well, well only one worker, I guess. So maybe not. Maybe let's wait with that. We need more people. Luckily, we already have a house built. So whenever, whenever we do have enough people for filling up another house, um, then that will be good. No, that's why I need a dock. It opens up my immigration. Do, do they not? Do they not just produce more people? Do you need a dock for that? Um, one mill, bakery, oil, distillery. Is that in towns, buildings, docks? Naval trade with the mainland. Oh wow, that's so much coins. Oh, it's it's uh, uh oh. There we go, built the docks. It's winter, hopefully we will survive. No idea. No idea if we will, but we'll see. Building is a bit slow because the storage is all the way out there. We don't have that many workers right now. Uh, let's do less gatherers because during the winter, I don't imagine there being uh, there being a lot of food to gather anyway. Might be better. Let's do another depot in town. Can I not build that? There we go. Yeah, let's do another depot in town, so hopefully resources will be a bit closer to home, and they can build stuff more quickly in town. That'll be good. It'll be helpful. Uh, happiness is slightly rising, so that's good. That's awesome. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, firewood is really low. It's January right now, year two. No firewood in sock. Oh boy, we're all gonna die. Yeah, the dock is opened up. Put someone in there. Um, trade cargo capacity, cranes, trade delivery time. So... How does that work? How does trading work? I don't see an option for that. Trade capacity 200. Arrival time 60 days. But what are we trading? Trade panel. Ah, oh, there we go. Let's pause. Buy, sell deals, trade deals. Uh, venison. Quantity 30, price 1, fee 10%, target. Uh, import until target no export until target quantity reached five hundred um we should have a lot of that stuff i think out of this 500 food i think we should have a lot of venison Let's export stuff there, I guess. And um, 
quality eight. So we can only do eight. quantities how much you have oh that's what i currently have okay uh, okay oh that's what the trader had well, so let's do like another oh god I'm doing way too much so like another 100 or something i don't know let's just do something i don't know how long it takes for it for it to arrive 60 days, is that what it says? Yeah, we'll see what happens. In 60 days, we'll be dead by then. Probably. <laughs> no, actually, I think it's warming up a little. Minus 5. Minus 2. Minus 3. Zero, minus five, no firewood in stock. Mm -hmm. yeah, trade is like almost, almost there. I don't think we're doing too bad. I think we'll be fine. Happiness is still quite high. It's actually still rising a bit, so... I don't think we can complain at all, actually. Oh yeah, they're starting to get cold for sure. They're freezing. Now the firewood is almost there. Hold on, people. Just hold on a little longer. You can survive this. I know you can. Winter is coming, achievement unlocked. We made it. It's February. Woo! There we go. We made it through the winter, everybody. Look at that. First try. First try. Awesome. We have ourselves a well. Deep well. Health and chance of fire. Sure, let's do that. Did the ship arrive? I think the ship arrived as well. Awesome. So this trade deal, does it automatically sell stuff? I'm guessing. Oh, so currently we have 50. Okay, hold on. So we need to do... We need to lower this lo a lot. Let's lower this to like... To like 60 for now. So start selling at 60 venison. For now, just to test it out, I guess. To get some more money. And then later on we can increase it to like 200 or something like that. Uh, how are we doing on workers? We have 11 adults still. We can actually have more uh, gatherers now, right? Because we're going to need more of that food and stuff. We have no workers right now, I know. Storage problems. Um, okay. It's because I didn't have any workers there? Is that why? I don't know. You suggest uh, you sell herbs to make money to start since you used to make is there you used to make medicine and you can't make that yet? Oh, we have 13 adults now. Perfect. We got two more workers. Right? Yes. Oh, perfect. Then we yeah. So two workers, everybody full. Awesome. Okay, we're we're doing well. We're doing well. 
Uh, let's see. So we're going to have to make another trade deal then for uh, herbs, you say? Oh, yeah, we're getting quite a bit of herbs. So let's do all the way down. Um, all the way down. We have 76. Let's make it go up to... Let's start selling at 80. We're almost there anyway. And I guess let's, let's, let's do the same thing here. 80 as well. Um, sell. Export until target quantity reached. So if it's higher than 80, they will start selling. That's uh, that's what it should mean, I think. Right, let's, do, let's see what we can research. Let's do Toolsmith. Because we're going to need those uh, clothing uh, shops. I don't know if we can make like sheep farms and stuff like that as well. I'm guessing. Uh, I don't see that anywhere. But that would make sense. Apiary. Sheep ranch there. Clove shop is all the way there. And then sheep ranch is all the way down there. <coughs> Is the, sheep, is the clove shop just... A lot of construction of clove shop producing cloves has never been simpler. So what are they producing cloves of if I don't if I don't have a sheep farm yet at that point? I don't know. That's confusing, man. I don't know. That's confusing. Oh, well. Right, how are we doing on workers? Uh, we still have to... Ba, 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 ba. Research is done. Alright, on the toolsmith. Awesome. Starts with leather and flex, <coughs> which are gathered and hunted. Yeah, leather we have. We don't have flex yet, I guess. Town center must be upgraded to gathering hole. What? Down center must be upgraded to gathering hole? Confusing. Now we have tents, houses, shelter. Find solution when your town gets crowded too fast. It should only be temporarily. Citizens living in shelters suffer a penalty to happiness and don't expect any children to be born here. Right. House is empty, zero. So let's build another, a lot, not another uh, few houses. There we go. I find it hard to place these roads. It's hard to see where you're placing it. I feel like the... Uh, I feel like it's a bit off. Sometimes. Road science helps your citizens find their way quicker. Uh, they move 5% faster while near road sign. Really? Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. I like that. That's pretty darn cool. Let's place another one there, then. And let's place one... Um, we can't do one there. And let's place one right there. And the one right there. Perfect. Make a move a little bit more quickly. <clears throat> awesome. We have more adults again. So more workers. Everything is filled up. All the different buildings that we have. That's awesome. Uh, let's get together and be alright. 
Uh, so we have more production now and we have less upkeep that's good we will be producing more firewood every year it's definitely something we needed more of and let's get an expansion get more people working there do we not have enough workers we have two workers what are you talking about we have plenty of workers don't lie to me game we have plenty of workers Oh, we can upgrade the houses as well. Isolation, stone house. Firewood and, up, uh, and coal upkeep, minus 25%. Oh, let's do those. Can we, like... Is there a button for, like, uh, upgrading a lot of them at the same time? Or do we just have to click? I guess we have to click separately. That's fine, though. That's pretty cool. I like that. So if we upgrade all those houses, we'll be using less. So we're producing more firewood and we're using less now. Awesome. Treasure empty. Oh, no, that's not good. That is always a bad thing. Not enough coins to resume production. Uh-oh. Having not enough coins is always a big problem. We don't have a lot of venison. Herbs we have plenty of. Looks like we are selling those. Um, I guess. Slow down. Annual. Oh, that's... Okay, I thought it was, like, money, but... Stock? Uh... No, it's also not what I was looking for. Can we not see, like, somewhere... Our income? Uh, monthly produced 173 monthly used 242 okay we're so we're using a lot more than we're producing why i thought we were selling stuff ba, 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 ba. <laughs> how you doing holly sorry i didn't see you there for a minute Good to see you. Welcome. Dex looks great. Uh, lots of hardware. Doctor spent time going over his work. More sessions of therapy. Hope you're doing well. It's a research gathering hall to upgrade it. How are you doing, Avengers? Good to see you. Welcome. It's been a little while. Good to see everybody watching, by the way. There's a lot of people watching. Four people watching over on Twitch and uh, 28 people watching over on YouTube. So we have a 30, a total of 32 people watching. Thank you guys all for being here, hanging out. Don't forget to uh, hit that follow button if you have not done that yet. Or uh, subscribe on YouTube. And uh, hit the like button if you haven't done that yet. It uh, greatly helps me out. Uh, it lets YouTube know that you are enjoying the live stream and it will push the live stream to more people uh, to see it. So that is awesome. Uh, okay, we really do not have a lot of venison. Why is that? Because we don't have enough iron, possibly. Efficiency is going down because of it. Yeah, so we're gonna need to get an iron mine and stuff like that uh, up and running. Let's see, grit or grit or what? Ha, huh. got him. There we go. One hundred percent ore mine or iron mine.
And yeah, it's hard for me to build roads. I I can't really see what I'm doing. There we go. We'll just do this. Should be fine. Alright, speed it up. We have two workers. It should be fine for now. We'll be a little slow, but we'll we'll get more. So how did you get immigrants then? Um I think uh who said that? Nicholas? Did you say that? Via the docks? Uh, royal tax increase. The crown has... The crown has uh, endeavors all around the globe. And it is the duty of each subject to help make that happen. From now on, on from now onward, the king is raising taxes on certain goods. Uh, absolutely. Send the king our wholehearted uh, approval. Venison trade fee increased to 17%. Peasants and laborers loyalty 10. Merchants generally minus 5. I don't think so. We're struggling as this. Peasants and laborers will be happy about that. Um, but I won't. We're already not making a lot of money. Yeah, we're struggling as it is. An extra 7% is quite a bit. Ah, sure. Sure, why not? That's alright. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, starts when you are able to research it after gathering hall upgrade. Oh man, you need to research gathering hall upgrade. Let's see. Immigration insensitive. Incentive. Sends coins to urge immigrants to travel from the old world and join your town. Plus 30% immigration rate. Okay. Oh yeah, so after this one, yeah. I see. Let's get clove, so never mind, we don't we don't have that stuff. Yeah, do we have the mine yet? Is it built? It is built. Uh, we don't have a lot of workers though. Uh, let's get the gather and be alright. And so let's get one from that. With two miners in there instead. Uh, one less of that one. There we go. To have more workers. And maybe we want to build another another depot like next to that. We're probably going to be building more in that area anyway, so we might as well Let's get production up. And we can get upkeep down and worker slots. Okay. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. It is November again, so it's gonna get cold soon. It's gonna get real cold soon. Let's reduce the upkeep. Will definitely help out. Yeah, venison. Oh, oh it's not seventeen; it's eighteen even more yeah we're not getting any of that anymore 
because we don't have any iron, I think. Well, we are getting iron now. We didn't have it for a while. Which is probably what the problem was. Production during the winter. Yeah, let's get that one. There we go. Plus 15%. That should help us out a bit more. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, remove the gatherers. I think we're doing well. I think we're doing quite well. Private Tomcat, good to see you. Welcome. <clears throat> uh, taxes are taken yearly. Good to see you as well. It was a uh, good visit at the docks. Good. Good, good, good. Yes, yeah, starts when you're... Oh, yeah. I read that already. Uh, a sunken ship. The ship has sunk off the coast of our fair city. We should send a search party to see what they can find. Uh, Brian, thank you very much for the super chat. I appreciate it. How are you doing, Brian? Brian? Donated $3 it has been a little while, I think. Don't think I've seen your uh, your name in chat for, yeah, for, for, for a little while. Organize a search and rescue party. Uh, focus on helping any survivors. Adults, children, uh, peasants and laborers, migration, migration, minus 20, merchants and generate 30. Sense a party and search for any goods floating around. Town needs anything we can retrieve. Just nuts, gold, tobacco. Hmm. Shouldn't it be the other way around? <clears throat> I feel like <laughs> I feel like when I do this option the peasants should be happier and when I do this option they shouldn't it the immigration means migrating towards me right or does it mean migrating away from me i'm confused I, f I feel like it should be switched around but maybe i'm just misunderstanding i'm gonna go for the uh, for the people though i want more people there we go now we have a lot more people perfect now we have five workers that's awesome Awesome, awesome stuff. All right, so we have a iron mine. Um, we do a coal mine as well. Ba, ba, ba. We don't need it just yet, but we will need it eventually. So, might as well build it immediately, I suppose. Um, wrong grid. To build it there. Hey, yeah, like right there. There we go. Perfect. You've been lurking for a while. Thanks, Brian. I appreciate it. Tony, hello. Immigration is to you. Immigration is away. Yeah, I mean, I, I know what, like, the word means. But I feel like... I feel like the game treats you differently. <laughs> we have homeless? Why do you see that? Now we have, we have people like living in houses here, but I don't know. I don't know where you can see that they're that they're homeless. We have these extra houses built. 
But we'll build some extra again. At least one. There we go, isolation. Improve that. Bum, 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 bum. We need to upgrade this one. Worker slots. More people work in there. Now that we have iron, finally. We're going to start getting a lot more. Which will be perfect. Production during winter. There we go. Get that upgrade. And that one. Perfect. Maximum production during winter. Or almost maximum. Yeah, coal mine for people. Oh, we can have more people working here. Oh, we have not, no, not have enough workers now. Now we're good. Wait. Uh, three. Oh, okay. So that's in the profession. Uh, so that so that, that means both iron mine and coal mine is in the profession, the amount. And then you can get okay, one here, two. Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's all right. Upkeep, change that. Okay, I see. I see how it works. Looks like we survived the winter again. Perfect. Perfect. Well done. Another winter survived. Awesome. Uh, let's do research. Once we have enough money, that is. Once we have 70 coins. Reduces 155. Monthly use 203. Does it not count what we trade? Is that not being taken into account there? I feel like it doesn't. I feel like it doesn't take into account what we're earning from that one. Because how is it possible that we're earning coins, but we are producing less? <laughs> how is that possible? So, so it must not take into account something. Otherwise, it would be in a minus. Hey, Slim Pickens. Hi and bye. Have an awesome rest of the stream. Thank you. Thanks for, uh, for saying hi and bye. And I'll see you next time. There we go, clove shop. Then we can start getting uh, peasant luxuries again. The basic good for peasant lux luxury, or the basic goods one is good now, 100%. Gain favor of the Holy Church. The church uh, dick. Dignitaries are offering us a way to gain some favor with them. Though it's really just a way for them to tell us what they want to do. Uh, indeed, fine. Send them what they want. Let's do them a favor. Uh, peasants and laborers will enjoy that, I guess. Sure. Sure. Why not? Why the heck not? We have 19 adults. Clothing is researched now. So we can have a... Cloth shop somewhere. Uh, oh, let's get a religion thing. There we go. Uh, let's get another one there. Perfect. And then we want to have a clothes shop. So where should we get that one? Um, should we just put them up there? 
next to the depot. Yeah, let's not do it in the ore fertility. Let's do it next to it. It will be better. And then we're going to start producing peasant luxury. So, the peasant luxury is not the same as basic goods, I think, because the basic goods here is 100% now, and we have zero peasant luxury. So, don't think that's the same. Luxury goods is 90. Bit confusing. They could do with a couple of updates to make it a little easier to understand all of that. Sure. But uh, it's, it's going well. We're surviving. We're, at least we're not dying. So there you go. Taylor. Perfect. We have a tailor now. Which will make start making a lot of clothing. We should probably try and sell those as well. If we can. Oh, we need tools. As well. Let's pause this building first. Come on. Let's pause that building. Let's make a toolsmith. Because we need tools for that one to work first, so... To wait a little bit longer. We have to be a little bit more patient. We need more housing? Maybe. Let's get more houses. There we go. Gonna need a quarry soon. Yeah, my stone is uh, running low. But a quarry just means we're gonna need a lot more people as well again, so. Mm. We need a little bit of everything all of the time. Let's get that. Start making tools. Uh, let's first try and optimize this to upkeep for that one. Yeah, we don't have tools anymore. Luckily, we are producing them right now, which is great. We need more coins. We need stone for this upgrade. Optimization. Uh, we're, pro we're producing more monthly now than we are using. So we're finally making like way more coins than we were before. Oh my god, where's all the trees? Shouldn't the... Um, oh man. What happened to all the trees? Shouldn't they plant trees back? Plant and cut. Tree growth speed. Oh boy. 
Let's increase that because we have we have no trees anymore. What the heck? How did why did it gather the trees from there and not from there? Pirate trader. My lord, an independent trader has arrived. Judging by the leaks of the crew, they are truly independent, but more than likely pirates as well. In any case, they wish, they wish to purchase some of our goods. Should I send a garrison to deal with them? Uh, yeah, send them away. I want nothing to do with that criminal scum. Let's stick with the independent title, officially at least. Send them to me. Uh, minus safety. Mm -mm. We'll get coins, we'll trade some coal and mushrooms. Yes, let's do that. We want money. Need money for some things. Are we still producing stuff? Even though there's no trees around, we are still working. Okay, that's good. Looks like it. Still 20 people. Uh, furnace production. Upkeep. Let's do upkeep again. Producing more. What happened to the trees? Yeah, I don't know. That's what I was asking. I have no idea why all those trees were cut. I didn't assign anything there to be cut, so I... I honestly don't know. Um, did I hit a, did I hit a button? All the trees in the world are gone. <laughs> Maybe I hit a button accidentally. It removes foliage or trees and stuff. Um, show trees. Ah, oh, there they are. Wow. <laughs> it's magical. Okay, that's where the trees were. That explains it. <laughs> I was so confused. I had no idea where, where they went. <laughs> oh, now they're gone again. Now, well, they're not gone, but... You don't have a lot of leaves anymore. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> I was so confused. Okay, that explains it. Okay, uh, let's see. Upkeep, production. Let's increase production. And once more. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Uh, how are we doing on people? We have two workers right now. We need more workers, man. So let's start researching more. Because of... We should, are, we should be getting enough money to research stuff. Wait, where did all my money go? Why did the monthly expenses go up that much all of a sudden? It's confusing. Because we brought back the trees, is that why? Ah, whatever. I think we're good. I'll we'll be fine. I'll we'll be fine. Increase peasant general happiness in the clothes shop radius. Okay, so if you build the clothes shop near them, they will be happier with that one. Okay. Small statue, small park, small pond. Essential budgeting. Enacting the policy reduces the upkeep of the fisherman huts, hunting lodges, uh, herbalist mines, blah blah blah. By 10%. Uh, and minus 0 0.25. Something? Is that the basic goods?
Yeah, okay, that's basic goods. That icon means basic goods. Okay. Gain favor of the Holy Church. Um, sure. Why not? That's all right. Oh, we have a lot of firewood. Let's have someone work in here now, finally. Upkeep, upkeep, production. Ah. Yes, you're kind of supposed to put houses around this one, actually. I thought it would be more right, like a worker area building, but... I guess they want this building in the middle of their town instead. Can we move the building? Uh, I don't think there's a way to move the building again. Oh well. There, increase production. Alright, so we're gonna start making uh, clothing now. Or peasant luxuries that will help make them uh, happier, hopefully. Uh, safety is apparently a little low. So let's work on. Um, watchtower. We need more lumber. Improve production. Expansion. Add another worker. Two carriers, two workers. The coins produced and used is like really random every month. Sometimes it's 100, sometimes it's 500. It's kind of crazy. It's really random. Uh, let's do the watchtower here. Make them feel safer. Should make them happier as well. Which means more children. Hopefully. That's what we're after anyway. Uh, the convict ship arrives. Mm -mm -mm. If the king wishes so, we'll take them in. Five convicts. Minus 30 safety. I won't allow criminal asylum. Them turn them away. Uh, I want more people, but safety will suffer. I did just build the watchtower, so okay, let's let's uh, let's accept them. All right, let's accept them. Now we have a housing shortage. Okay, let's build more houses then. They may rob all your good citizens. True. True, very true. There we go, but we have more workers now, so that will be uh, beneficial for us. Very beneficial for us. We need more lumber. Uh, let's have less people working on firewood right now. We have plenty for now. There we go. 
just need more lumber right now. Building stuff. Yeah, we have a lot more people now. Awesome. I can't believe we're still alive, actually. Wasn't, uh... Definitely, definitely didn't think that would still, uh, still be a thing. See, we can sell someone else. Maybe let's start selling. Uh, do we have clothing? Do we? We're nine. Let's see. Strawberries. Loaves. We have three only. So it's basically nothing. Uh, <laughs> once we have more of that, I would like to sell it. So let's say once we have 60 of it, let's sell some. We'll be uh, far away. Might be useful. And uh, let's say, uh, let's say tools. Let's sell everything over 100 tools for now. Just to make some quick cash. Luminex, how you doing? It's already starting to take shape, booster. Yeah, yeah, we're doing quite well, I think. Oh, we have no one in here. All right, let's put someone in there. It does use firewood. Isolation. There we go. Uh, let's make sure we isolate. Put isolation in the houses. Uh, cult activities. Oh, that's the criminals. <laughs> um, the people are free to practice any religion, uh, religious beliefs they want as long as they do not harm. Let them be. Uh, safety. Yeah, let them be whatever if they want to be in a cult that's fine as long as they don't hurt anybody right if they are just practicing at their house and you know don't injure anyone it's fine and i'm good with that that's all right there we go put isolation on all of those We got safety going on. Awesome. Uh, let's do the hatter as well, because now we're starting to have people living in that area, so we might as well. It'll make them slightly happier, the ones living there. Oh, we have, we're starting to get a lot of people now. Look at that. Nine workers, three carriers. We're going to have to start researching more. Once we have some more money and some more uh, resources. Ba, ba, ba. Clothing is going up. Nice. We're doing well. Ba, ba, ba. Let's increase production. And let's do the upkeep later again. Costing us a lot of money to do these upgrades, of course. But if we decrease the upkeep now by 50% from what we started off with, I mean, that really helps us out in the long run. It's going to save us so much money. Let's actually do an expansion first. Add, some, uh, add another person there. And let's add an expansion to this one. Add another person there. Then we need the optimization one. If they don't behave, you can complain to Mark Rutte. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly.
There, almost there. Almost enough money for that one. What about the same upgrades for other things? Um, oh, another sunken ship. Um, adults and children. Let's do that one. Except more herbalist training. We're selling that stuff, so that's good to have more of. Increase food production. You're hovering 50, 10, 550, 100. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I can't do more there. Could do like the winter one just to make sure. I guess I could add another worker to it to increase the amount we get per year. And expand on the gatherer one. Oh, what about the fisherman? I totally forgot about that one. Sturdier nets. Expansion. Sturdier nets. Sturdier nets. Boom. There we go. Totally forgot about that one. We haven't upgraded the fisherman at all. There we go. That's a big upgrade. I think we went from like... Yeah, from like the 660 one worker a year to now 1300. Oh, that's a one worker, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I, I think we went from like 500, 600 to, uh, to 1300 now. So that should definitely help us out. A bunch. Uh, how are we doing on money? Money is going well. Let's see if we can research. Carpenter's hut. And after the carpenter's hut, I want to get the essential budget in. Reduces the upkeep stuff. Stopping things. Not a carrier. Awesome. I don't, I don't fully understand how we are getting these carriers. Because we're not building more depots. Haven't built any more depots, but we are getting more of them. So I'm not sure what causes that, actually. Beautification, flag post. Do, 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 do. King has sent over a ship full of goods for a fair city. He's clearly pleased with us. Oh, it's firewood and fish. Awesome. Going well, going well. More people, more production buildings. Yeah, for sure. For sure. But for now, we seem to be doing good. Food is going up to 300 now. So for now, we will, uh, we will make it for a little longer. Without having to do much more but we will need to get more in the future of course I don't deny it uh, let's get decorative hedges cleared path increase herbalist hut efficiency if near or gatherers shelter uh, sure. 
Oh, so that's like extra efficiency for things. Increases the hunting lodge efficiency if near herbalist hut. What is near? What does that mean? Like within its radius? Gather a shelter. Herbalist hut. Is this close enough? Can I see that anywhere? If they are getting the boost or not? It, it's like... It is like just there. Exactly like in the middle of those buildings. Not sure if they're getting that boost. We'll see. The radius of the work area. Got a residence just like in the game foundation automatically upgrade your home. I don't think so. As far as I know, uh, you just have to click on the house and then press the isolation button, which will reduce the amount of firewood and coal upkeep needed. Or you can um, click to make a stone house out of it if you have glass, but I don't have that yet. But I don't think they can automatically upgrade their homes, but maybe uh maybe they will in the future i don't i'm not sure yet i mean there's a lot more to unlock all the gray stuff is what we don't have yet so there are a lot more buildings to build there's a lot more to do We still don't have a quarry. <laughs> we haven't needed one yet. I think we're gonna need another... Um, what's it called? Forester. Soon-ish. 20%. Hunting Lodge of Near Herbalist. Yeah, we can do that one. Yeah, the Gatherer Hut went up from 37 to 21. Nice. And this one should also work because that's pretty close. Hunting Lodge and Herbalist. That one. Yeah, it's pretty close next to it. It's perfect. That will give another boost. And then ice fishing increases the fisherman hot efficiency during the winter. That's nice. So we just need to get some more lumber for that. Um, can we improve lumber production? Now we have maxed it out. So we're just going to have to build another one somewhere. Mm -mm -mm. Ninety two. Ninety two. Ninety two is probably the most we can get here. The near depot, the warehouse is far away. Transporting resources in front of the building will take a lot of time and reduce efficiency. Yeah, we will have to build one of those. Yeah, there we go. Let's go and do that then. Build a road. And build a depot. Right next to it. Perfect. You saw 95 there? Ah. Uh, all too late. 
<laughs> Already built it. Hey, Camo, good to see you. What is this? This is uh, Patreon. It's sort of like Banished, if you know that game. Banished is another like city builder. It, it, Banished is a little older, but it's a pretty cool city builder. It's really good. It's considered to be one of the better ones, even though it doesn't necessarily have the, the nice visuals of like Anno 1800, for example. Um, yeah, that's a, oh, yeah, Anno is a pretty good visual, but I don't know. Banished is good. Banished is good, but it's a little bit of an older game. But yeah, this is like another game like that. Just another city builder. Just establishing a, a colony somewhere. Settlement. Oh, we have a lot of money all of a sudden. Wow. We're making the big bucks now. Um, turn that down a bit. Um, there we go. Increase that limit a bit. Want to make sure we have enough. There we go, more people working. Ba -ba -ba. Production going up. Need more lumber for that. There we go, fertilizer. Improvement, improvement. I mean, one more. I mean, the visuals uh, ain't that bad, ain't that important. Just look at city skylines. The modern community still keeps the game alive even after 2015. True. I mean, for for me personally, I don't really care too much about like games after 2010. <laughs> um. But, I mean, some people do, so. Some people are, like, offended when a game looks a certain way. <laughs> Which is kind of crazy. You're gonna have to research this town hall to upgrade? Yeah, we're gonna have to do that soon. First, I want to get the, fi the ice fishing uh, upgrade. And all of this first. Construction goods. Enacting a policy increases the production of quarries, coal mines, iron mines, forester huts, toolsmiths, and brickworks by 10%. Doesn't have a negative effect? Well, that's perfect. Doesn't seem like it has a negative effect. Uh, food production. Food production policy increases the efficiency of fields, orchards, ranches, gathering huts. Hunting lodges and fishermen huts. Perfect. Also, no negative effect. Awesome. I like that. That's good. And essential budgeting after that. Can I not click it already? No. Uh, 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 uh. I need to wait for it. To the... Uh this one first automatically upgrade the townhouse to gathering hall which opens up more options regarding social policies additionally allows the planting of wheat fields oats and feed ranch animals and apple orchards and the construction of ranches to herd chickens and open up more resources for trading on the docks. Good, good, good. Awesome. I've heard it said that the game Banished was created from start to finish by one and the same person. I don't know if that's true. I'm not sure. Maybe. 
It is a pure city building game. Banished is dazzling. It combines simple charms with transparent, complex, systematic interaction and tough. Tough but fair, difficulty curve. Single developer did a far better job with Banish and the whole team access the Sim City. <laughs> From Meta Critic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that game is pretty pretty darn good. Apparently. A lot of people are uh, are really happy with that game. Mushroom farms. Farmers can cultivate large amount of mushrooms on mushroom farms in a very limited space. That's pretty good. Okay, that's first. Yeah, so we have a couple of policies now that we can uh, work on. Let's see. Uh, not what I wanted. Alright, so influence one. We have six. Let's do the construction of goods plus ten percent. It will cost us two hundred and sixty a year. Okay, so that's the negative effect, I guess. That's fine. That's all right. We're making enough. And then we also want to have more food. Five hundred a year. Ooh. 10% uh, more construction goods and 10% more food. Oh wow, look at all the people we have now. I didn't realize we have that many all of a sudden. <laughs> hey Jerry, good to see you, welcome. This game reminds you of Kingdoms Reborn. I have not played that one myself. I've seen someone else play it, but I, I don't remember what it looks like actually. I, I remember the name. But I don't really know what it looks like. Just thinking about it. Uh, I really hope there will be a sequel to City Skylines. Um, yeah, yeah, City Skylines was good. Yeah, definitely. Uh, they they can definitely improve upon it as well. All the traffic jams are like crazy. Um, but. A really good game. It's a lot of fun just building a city and quite relaxing if you know what you're doing. It's, it's pretty good. Banish is your go to relaxed, chill game. Love the music and Banished as well. Uh, yeah. I have Banished. I, I have played it a little bit. Let me see. Uh, slow down time. Oh, apparently it uh, closes down the game. I think I have banished. Banished. Oh, yeah, I do. Played for 10 hours. 10.7 10 hours. Uh, not that much. That was a long time ago. February 15th, 2017. So that's a long time ago. A long time ago. Five years. Now... And I've only played it for 10 hours. That's crazy. Maybe I should go back to that. Do you guys want to see that? Do you guys want to see me play Banished? At some point? Just let me know. I see uh, 34 people watching in total to this game. So, And th this game seems to be pretty similar to, uh, to, get to Banished. So if you guys enjoy it, let me know. Hit that uh, follow button, subscribe, and uh, hit the like button as well. While you're at it. Yeah, why not? Um, hey, Candy. The slowdown occurs very quickly. Uh, using Mega Mods, but with a good computer, you can handle it. Oh, I see the skyline, you mean? So what you're talking about. Oh no! What Ar what Ara was sa saying? Okay, ba uh, yeah, banish modded. Okay. The advantage of banish is that many people with less powerful computers start to experiencing problems because it requires a lot less energy from your computer. That's good. Mm -hmm. 
Candy love your banished videos. Oh, Candy is a, a creator. He can banish videos. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see. Well, welcome, I would say. Uh, what are we doing? What are we doing next? I've been a little bit distracted. Um, I wish we could just click on like small pond here, just like in um, just like in the game Civilization, for example, Civilization five and six and all, so on. You just click here, and then it would research all of this in line, in like in order, in the direct order. But I'm gonna have to do it like one by one each time, which is a little bit annoying. take some more time especially because I tend to forget a lot of it and we can start making carpenter stuff it will give more peasant uh, luxury that might be good just gonna sit here for a little bit researching that drink my tea and at the same time Another one. All right, we're almost there. Okay, what is next? Uh, let's get this one, maybe. So what do we need for that? Upkeep, points, lumber, tools, production, furniture, Needed coin slumber tools. Okay. Let's make that. Let's make that happen, y'all. Ah, oh, I can't place it there. Not enough space. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's really frustrating. Missing like one spot there. Yeah, we'll place it uh, we'll place it right there optimization didn't mean to click on that uh, expansion do we need more not really oh we're gonna need a quarry now we need a quarry here or rich ground we're gonna have to build a quarry over here as well building that <clears throat> will be good to see you play banished all right I will uh, I will uh, think about it I mean I do have the game already so why not why not every time I hear that little the little bell, the little ding. I think that it's Streamlabs, because Streamlabs has a very similar sound. Uh, and that sound indicates that you lost connection to your stream. So, every time I hear that little ding, that little bell, I'm like looking to Streamlabs to make sure it's still connected or not. It's, it's a little bit annoying that that's part of the soundtrack. <laughs> a bit um, a little bit annoying 
But what are you gonna do about it? Nothing. There are quarry men. Uh, up there. Get more production. Upkeep. Lessen it. Expanded by another worker. There we go. Boom. Not enough workers now? We have seven workers. That's plenty. What do you mean? What do you mean we don't have enough workers? We have seven left. What are you talking about, bro? Plenty of workers. Let's get some more housing. Oh, this fits perfectly. You can do a little road around it. Perfect. You're not experiencing this problem myself. Uh, you're not experiencing the problem yourself. I have, let's, uh, let me say, a more average computer. However, many of my friends suffer a lot. Most of them buy a new computer. Just play Banished. <laughs> <clears throat> higher pop higher population higher number of minimum workers before it says that mm. that's a little bit annoying so I'm basically gonna need more and more free workers otherwise transporting resources yeah I mean, I guess it's useful that they say it, but at the same time, at the same time, it's not really necessary. <laughs> if you have seven, I mean, come on. <laughs> Should be plenty. Should be plenty. Um, okay, that's all of the research. Let's get the small pond researched. Why not? We're getting a lot of resources. That's awesome. We're doing really good. We're doing pretty darn good, y'all. There we go. A couple of those around, even though it might not be necessary. Increase the speed of workers. Royal tax increase. Uh, to 26. Heck no. You're crazy. I'm not gonna pay even more taxes. Custom house. Customs house allows trading even banned goods through more shady channels. Plus 50% upkeep. Uh, cargo trade capacity. <clears throat> Do we need shady stuff? Are we in need of some shady goods? Like what? Let's do it. Can we get shady stuff now? How does that work? Beer. Is that shady? I don't know. Plum. I don't know. We got it. We got the upgrade. Plus we can. Now we got plenty of stuff. We're doing quite well. I'm liking it so far. Let's research a bit more. Now let's do the... Play pit? Maybe? 
distillery, homeschooling, propaganda, road, stone roads. Yeah, let's start going there. Clay pit, stone road, quarry pool, tower bridge. Pottery apprentice over there. We start making pottery. Shady goods are anything your king bans you from trading. I see. So he will eventually come with an uh, accre uh, from the gr degree, nay, no, accree. What's the word? Degree, accree, accree, right? Sounds weird. English is weird, bro. English is weird. Why can't everyone just speak Dutch? That I would understand. It would make my life so much easier if everyone just spoke Dutch. making like flower walls <laughs> yeah I know you can Ara I know you can making statues everywhere as well oh it's turned around uh oh Is that a child? Oh no. Looks like a child. Wait, is it? Those are way smaller. Yeah, those are children, aren't they? I cannot click on them or anything. Yeah, definitely younger. Are they working? What are they doing? Maybe they were just playing in the forest with that bear. Yeah, maybe they just have a, a bear friend. I don't know how this is gonna look, but we'll see. It's a bit weird, the building. Uh, let's research stone roads. Now we got a clay pit somewhere. Can we just build that anywhere? Put that over there. We have eight workers. Children secretly smoke a cigarette. Yeah, that must be it. Yeah, that's that's probably it. But oh, this looks horrible. Can we remove that? Demolish building. Oh, that's quick. Yeah, that will look a little bit better. I think. Small pond. There we go. Nice. 
The bare necessities. True, true. You have a good friend in the U.S. Air Force, uh, stationed at Ramstein Air Base. Uh, she recently drove to the Netherlands to see the tulips. Awesome. Yeah, we have beautiful tulip fields. Beautiful tulip fields. This turned around as well. Why? Why, game? Yeah, whatever. Quarry pool increases the productivity if quarry of quarries is near an iron or coal mine. That's good because we have that. So now we can do stone roads as well. Uh, oh yeah, we can. Oh, awesome. Start doing that. Um, there we go. Um, that looks so good. That looks so good. That's kind of crazy how good that looks. Oh, I like that little corner. That's nice. I wish they would cut off that one too, though. That would just make it go like this instead of having this, uh. Yeah, whatever. That looks so good. Awesome. Great, I love it. Got another one up here. It'll take a lot of stone, but worth it because it will speed up travel time, I'm guessing. It doesn't say that, but I'm guessing it will. And otherwise, it's just uh, aesthetically pleasing, I suppose. Let's research more. Quarry pool is almost researched. Speed it up. That's what she said. Like a sea, sea of tulips. Yeah. It looks awesome. I haven't really... Uh, like I haven't been standing in a field of tulips or anything like that. But often I drive. Like when I go to... When I go to the north of the Netherlands, we have a we have a little place there. Um, then I often drive past like twenty of them. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Well, well, well. Not a one over there. Not a one over here. Let's get another shrine over here, maybe. And a shrine over there. Another watchtower. Just to make them feel safer. We're actually doing like really good. 96 happiness. I mean, we have a ton of resources. <clears throat> we're not really low on anything. I mean, we're a bit... We're starting to get clay and we're a bit low-ish on coal. But it's not like we're in need of more. I don't think. Let's get more though. Let's uh, increase the number. Uh, 
There we go. Let's increase productivity here. Haven't done that yet. We have someone working here. Let's do production, production, production. Boom. Starting to make clay. And tower bridge, I guess. So when can we make bricks then? Wait. That's just regular stone, I see. We don't have isolation for those houses yet. For these ones. King's Ransom. My lord, the king's advisors have sent a list of requests. No official reason has been noted. Only a list. Hmm. They're bleeding us dry. We can't go again, but we can't go against the king. Uh, eh, that's fine. We have plenty. We have plenty of stuff. It's all right. Isolation there. Might need to get another sawmill dude here. Or, uh, oh, we could just increase production, actually. There we go. We don't need another sawmill, dude. We have plenty of production. Uh, that's improved. That one is improved all the way. 108 locks, 144. We're in need of 50 every year. Okay, that's fine. We have plenty of lumber coming in. Tulips from Amsterdam are the most beautiful. I don't know about that. I don't know if the Amsterdam tulips are the best, but I do know tulips are awesome. How you doing, King? Greetings, the King is here for a surprise inspection. <laughs> I made to make sure that there's no shady products in the village. Cool. Well, happy King's Day uh, again, Mr. Kingbo. It is King's Day in the Netherlands, so uh, yeah, happy King's Day. Enjoy your day. Um, essential goods, pottery. Enact a policy that increases the production of gathering shelters, for forester huts, fishermen huts, hunting lodges, herbalists, etc., 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 by 10%. Nice. Nice. We have three empty houses. Essential good is done. Pottery. If you want to farm field uh, crop, should be research. Yeah, I can research it. I want to get pottery first, though. Increases production of a pottery uh, workshop if near another pottery workshop. Okay. Pottery workshop. Requires coins, firewood, clay, and tools. That's fine. Um, now we'll place that one. Uh, we'll place that one there. That's fine. <clears throat> I used to know the song to open house oh, to, to open house Amsterdam I don't anymore excuse spelling <laughs> out yeah to open out Amsterdam 
House is uh, more German, I think. I think that's the German word for it. King is happy. He sends us regards. Let's add another person here, maybe. Worker slots. Wait, why can't I not add more people here? Oh, there we go. That's weird. Took a little bit longer to. That's really weird. Ah, two is enough, though. Is plenty. We have plenty of coal, plenty of firewood. Uh, we're making pottery now. So we're making clothing, we're making pottery, we're making furniture. We, we still don't have flowers. Do we need an apiary for flowers or something? Because the bees have to like make them more fertile or whatever. Or maybe we need oh, we needed a field, right? The field. Uh, I think Nicholas said that earlier. Hello, the bears are using the road you built. Are they? Maybe. Oh, there's a bear. Are they not attacking or like is there no combat in the game? Is there is there in this game no combat at all? Like the bears don't do anything. Oh, there, there's the bear. <laughs> I saw it. Just walking around town like it's nothing. No problem whatsoever, bro. Apiary. Allows the construction of an apiary. Honey and wax can be quickly on the, on the way. Now let's start uh, doing a field. Field. Crop field. Orchard. Let's do uh, crop field. Fertile soil. Max field is 12 by 12. All right, let's do uh, one of those then. Where's the apiary? Apiary. I'm guessing the apiary will boost farms. So I'm gonna place it close. Maybe not. Maybe it doesn't. Let's get a distillery. Keep the people happy. No? What is this? Housing shortage. I thought we had plenty of house. Let's get some more. Ah, oh, really? I'm missing like one. Gosh, that's so annoying. Okay, let's do it like that then. Let's remove that hatch. There we go. Perfect. Another five houses. Plenty. Inventory space low. Gradually running out of inventory space. That's fine. That's all right. We should start selling more. Can we not sell more than this? Um. Mm 
Wait for ship. Okay. Need a better harbor, so we need bricks. Where do we get bricks then? Warehouse, research drafting, deep mine, stone well. Where the heck are we gonna get bricks? Pollination. An orchard production, uh, if near an apiary, is plus 12%. There we go. So, yeah, so next to an orchard. So, not a field per se, but an orchard. That makes sense. Where's the bricks? Shouldn't they be like near the small courtyard? No, I don't, I don't want that. <laughs> Whatever. Shouldn't that be here? A clay pit? Clay pit, stone road, quarry. It should be like right there. Mm -hmm. Buy itself from the screen, yeah. Combat starvation. Now we're good on food. I had the same problem when playing the demo. The inventory would fill up fast. I, d I don't really have a uh, problem with that, I don't think. But just it just recently started happening. I guess I just need to build more depots or something. Yeah, maybe you got like another depot out there somewhere. Uh, there we go. Another depot. Gonna have people working there. Um, next season, uh, we want, let's do flowers. They'll keep the people happy. Uh, production, 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 boom. Expansion will give us a lot of honey and wax. Hopefully, the bears won't raid the, the apiary. <laughs> Check the production buildings, might have paired with clay research. Brick works. Research brick works. Yeah, where is that? <clears throat> All the way out here? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> if you can get if you gotta get clay all the way down there, then bricks should be the next step up. Immediately. Not all the way down there. Yeah, whatever. Let's get a warehouse. Much like a depot, the warehouse serves as a resource drop off. 
probably better. <clears throat> Oh, we only have four workers right now. It's not a lot of them. And to get to more people, I guess. Uh, ooh, terrible year for crops. We're finishing up our annual production census, sir. Uh, things are looking grim. We are below expectation and the people are growing restless. A bad year is not their fault. Settle the difference from our tre treasury. Uh... Yes. We're running out of money. Is that what's happening? Hopefully not. Let's take it easy for a little bit. Let's just uh, sit back, drink some tea. Let's see what happens. Now we are making more money, a little bit, slowly. January now. Getting a bit low on coal. Maybe add another worker. <clears throat> We're doing pretty good. Having a lot of fun with this. Haven't died yet, which is what I'm most surprised about, actually. <laughs> Haven't even died yet. I'm I'm the best patron gamer ever. For sure. Oh, there's actually actual Christmas trees as well. Oh, there we go. Now it's gone. As soon as I say it. Um, 460. How, how much money are we making? Reduced, used. Okay. <laughs> Social budget thing. Oh yeah, the upkeep. Yeah, let's do that one. That would give us more money. And then... Well, it should, in theory. But it says it's gonna cost us 200 a year. So, I don't know. Sensual goods. 10% more production. Um, don't think we need that right now, do we? Just speed it up. Are we getting flowers yet? Oh yeah, they're working on it. We're working on getting flowers. Maybe let's get more crops. Slow it down. Um. Another crop field there. Another crop field there. And build it. Everything okay with your neck? With my neck? What's wrong with my neck? <laughs> Sire, the king has sent over a ship full of goods for a fair city. He clearly pleased with us. Nice. Fine garments, stone, clothing. Nice, nice. 
Um, more flowers. We don't have a lot of that yet. Any. And then the last one, let's do tobacco, maybe? Tobacco. That would be another field. There we go. That'll be next season. Oh no, this season. Uh, and then uh, wheat fields. There we go. Working on a lot of stuff. Increase ranch production if near a field. Reduces the time it takes to conduct research by 30%. There we go. Takes 25 days, so it takes forever to research it, but it will decrease the amount of time it takes for everything else, so I guess it's worth it. Are we using flowers yet? Takes too long, bro. I want my flowers. I want them now. Someone is dusting himself? Dusting? I have no idea what you mean by that. <laughs> Inventory space low again. Oh wait, didn't we have a warehouse? Uh, warehouse. Boom. Got a big old warehouse right there. Stockpile full. Uh, to attend to everyone's uh, needs of the soul, the church needs to satisfy more materials. Needs to satisfy the more materials needs needs first. For the most sum of coins. Of course, we could need not agree more. Sure, whatever. Take the money. Take the money, church. All right. Take all the money you want. That's all you care about anyway. It's not about the religion for you, it's about the money, huh? All they want is, is things and stuff. They want things and stuff and gold and bling bling and everything. Warehouse. Where Where is that house? All right, plenty of capacity now. There we go. Maybe you build another one. Build another one there, just for fun. Expansion. I don't think it's necessary yet. Is it? Are we getting that stuff anywhere?
Where, where is this being put? Is honey going to food? Is that where it's going? guessing it is maybe mm. are we finally have flowers though people are uh, are happy 98% Flowers, flowers, tobacco, weeds. Research is done. Deep mine increases production of coal mines if near. Neary? If neary an iron mine? I guess it's supposed to say nearby. We found a, uh, we found a typo. Yeah, let's do it. Is there like a photo mode or anything like that? <laughs> Toggle interface. N end? What the heck is that? N end. No idea. Photo mode. Ah. Oh god. Numpad enter, is that what it's at? Oh. That's so weird. N end. What the heck? No. Oh. That's where all the other islands are. Mm -mm. Who's are the only leaders that have 98% popular opinion? Uh, are those that lead are dictators? From those they lead are dictators? I see. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see. So what you're trying to say is I'm a dictator? Is that what you're trying to say? I don't really like this photo mode. It looks a bit weird in this season. Was well, there like no grass here? Settings are like on high. Yeah, I can't go lower than that. Or higher than that, I mean. Doesn't look as good as I was hoping it would. But pretty darn good. Not your words, or your, your words, not mine, I see. Yeah, of course it isn't. Of course you didn't say that. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's see, what are we doing? We're still on f f only five workers. I'm trying to get more, but... I just don't seem to get it. Oh well, I think though um, we've been playing for uh, for almost three hours. I think I will end the stream here for now. 
Uh, we might do another episode of uh, of this game uh, tomorrow or the day after, or maybe instead of uh, instead of this, we'll maybe do uh, Banished tomorrow or the day after. We'll see. Let me know what you want to see. Do you want to see more Patron? Do you want to see more Banished? Do you want to see both more or a completely other game? Let me know. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hitting that follow button on Twitch. Thanks for subscribing on YouTube. And uh, thanks for hitting the like button. I see uh, 43 likes on my end. So I appreciate it. Hope you all have a wonderful day or a night. And I'll see you next time again.